Now we've been talking about the Seattle Sonics being MIA, but you talk about somebody missing in action, man. You know, you're looking at the guy right now. That's looking at Stu the Guru, regular caller to the John Clayton Show, except for here lately, man. Good to see you. Welcome back to uh, Floyd's Place. Always nice good to being be with seen. you. Yes, nice there you go, seen. man. Always good. What do you got for the Sonic fans out there on Facebook and everywhere else? Well, you know, I've just been. Um, you know, on the on the Twitter verse, and I've just been representing the best I know how to keep the Sonics alive and afloat. And the people who I interact with on Twitter, they're not from Washington. About 90% of them are not in Washington, so I, I get a crowd that's appreciative of the fact that we had a team that it's been taken from us, that we long, and, and actually many of the people that I that I interact with are from Houston who have experienced teams leaving and things like that. So it's it's just good to remind people that the Sonics were here for 40 plus years, that they won a championship, that they were supported by the city, that we love the Sonics, that that's what you do in the wintertime right. in Seattle, is you go to a dry building and watch world class athletes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just appreciate that and keep it alive so you know other people forget and when it's misrepresented saying that the Thunder have won championships or these people that's right. all Sonic stuff right and people need to understand that and so in my own way I do what I can on Twitter there you go you know you gotta keep, no. you gotta keep it real I do know and, and, and people people that I interact with they, they they seem to respect that and understand that you know and, and so many people have empathy for what's going on here in the city and losing a sports team. They, right. they really do. So it, it's a good deal, you know, social networking. Right, yeah, no doubt, man. Let me ask you this while we're talking about social networking. I'm looking here at the Green and Gold Community Coalition page with Facebook links for Arena Seattle, NHL Seattle, NBA Seattle. Have you heard about the new coalition? No, I haven't. Yep, the Green and Gold. Oh, Community Coalition. Tell me a little bit more about that. Is a registered 501, reading off their website, of course. I 501 have 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated to bringing together business owners, elected officials, charity foundation, community leaders, celebrities, and volunteers who share a common belief that a new multi purpose facility capable of hosting world class athletic events, concerts, and conventions will result in substantial economic benefits to the Puget Sound region. So, they're bringing people together to kind of get the ground swell towards the arena solution since as we sit here one block north of Key Arena. Right there. Um, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the uh, former home of the Seattle Sonics. We know that there's a new home that has to, you know, be if there's going to be... To get anybody to come here, we're going to have to have a place for them to be because uh, apparently that doesn't work. Lawrence O'Brien, there's a real commissioner, not David Stern. You know, and, and to that point, you know, the Grizzlies, you know, they were they were taking it they were taking it to uh, uh, San Antonio. You know, the, the Grizzlies and the Grizzlies were a wayward team, you know, and to see the excitement and I was listening to some Memphis sports radio when they were playing, you know, and, and beating San Antonio. You know, do you know how much excitement and buzz was going on down there? Do you know how, what people were thinking and being and spending money and down there and in the street and flags on their car and rah, 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 rah and it's big stuff, it's big stuff. And all that should be here. That used to be here. It used to be so much fun to go in that building and see all kinds of people from all kinds of stratus in life and positions and stations in life. And, and a multitude of ethnicities, and everybody's in that one building, and it used to rock. It used to have so much fun. That's what I want. You know, now we don't. And we're supposed to be a world-class city. You know, how many of the world's 50th richest people live here in King County? You know what I'm saying? There's this thing called Microsoft in one way. You know, it's frustrating. And I understand that you know, just because you got a bunch of donuts, I mean you're. Thank you, sir. But you know, like there's supposed to be. I don't expect a guy to open up his checking account and just pay for a bill. Come on. Now. 
Come on. You've got influence at home. You can get stuff done. You have the resources. We're a world-class city. That's what we purport ourselves to be. But, but without an NBA franchise, can you really mean the Mariners will not ever win anything? <laughs> it just won't ever happen. <laughs> ever. So I will leave that alone. That ain't gonna happen. The Seahawks, that's one thing we got that's good that's going on. Soccer doesn't replace basketball. I am now not a Sounders fan because there's no basketball. No, that's, they didn't play like that. You know, like I'm a Houston Rockets fan now. That's that's why I just chose Houston Rockets. You know, right, right, right. Western half, but they're right. not West Coast. Right, right. So I'm gonna be a Rockets fan because you know it's easy to be a front runner. I can't root for the Lakers. I sure as hell ain't gonna vote root for Portland. <laughs> Nothing against Portland, but I can't do that. No, I understand. So it just sucks. That this city does not have no, I know. what it's supposed to have, what it's rightfully got. We let some, you know, jerk, coffee guy. You mean the guy with the five-year plan? Yeah. <laughs> the man with I'm the plan? Gonna, I'll just start swearing. <laughs> I know. Stuff, so I just, that's why I just quiet. Do the guru, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and we'll be back. <laughs> that's it.